The State Minister in charge of ICT and National Guidance, OHT, what Joyce Sebuguao says that women should work together with men to support each other. This should go with participating in government economic programs like the parish development model. Encouraging women also to, use, to take a chance of using all the opportunities available uh, which got, the government has put, put in place. The state minister in charge of investments, Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Anita Evelyn noticed that NRM government has given women a chance to serve in different positions. Completely eradicated the mentality of a patriarchal society where we, we receive the support to the men, that the, men, the male child is more important than the girl child. So we, we, we still have a lot of work to do. The Presidential Advisor on Special Duties and Secretary General Pan-African Women Organizations, Grace Kavayo, adds that women can shape the political and economic prosperity. When domestic violence happens, you see that government comes up to rescue and to, to involve themselves into curbing the, the domestic violence. The senior pastor Glad Tiding Ministries in Kalere, Kampala Sabab, Judith Sozi, observed the freedom of worship that should not be underlooked. The government talks about massive education so that a great number of children are helped massively. But at the same time, the input also should be massive. We should also look at a way of sensitizing the women massively. On a, at a greater number, look at greater numbers. The Presidential Advisor on Women Affairs, State House Mumbeja Pauline Nasolo, advised women in rural areas to follow government programs. Participating in the government programs because we must work for our household income. Every woman must contribute in the house. The member of Presidential Roundtable in Economic Issues, Margaret Chigos, adds that women in the informal sector have contributed a lot by paying taxes at different levels. Women in the rural areas, you have fed us. Our country, as Uganda, is, has never suffered from hunger because you are there. We are able to produce enough food for our country because of you, the ladies who are in agriculture and we really appreciate that. Richard Chilemeka and Sudat Kaye, UBC News. <laughs>